Hi there, how are you doing? You okay? <laughs> <laughs> this is Brother Akhil. MashaAllah, he was a silver medalist in the European Championship some time ago. And now he's uh, one of the trainers here in this complex in the Norwegian Dower Center where you have been putting your money, your donations. And I want to ask you, Akhil, uh, I mean, you've been doing martial arts for, for many, many years yeah. now as a grandfather that you are actually now, isn't it? But um, why is it, has it been really important for you? What has it done for you in your life? Uh, well, martial arts has given me uh, self confidence, yes. uh, self control. Yes. Uh, it also motivates you to perform at, uh, in other aspects of life. So, uh, gives you self control, keeps you out of trouble because doing martial arts, competing, you know what you're good for. So, you don't need to go on the streets and fight a Absolutely. layman, you know. Absolutely. So. And thank you very much for that. I mean, he's going to be one of the trainers here at the Dawa Center. And talking about the dancer, so here we, here we have the man himself. Uh, the one, the the only, uh, Fahad, tell us something about this spacious area, which is, is it not the good work of the contributions of the people that have been paying for the Dao Center? Yes, mashallah, tabarakallah. So this area over here will be like a football football ground or a basketball oh, court oh. Uh, combined with martial arts. Yes. So the, so the whole thing here is that we want to give the give the youth some facilities where they can spend their time instead of hanging in the streets, yes. but rather yani, doing something productive and coming closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So while they're working out, they'll be hearing the adhan and everyone will Allah. go to pray. Oh, Allah Allah Allah. So we're establishing a, a multi-purpose masjid wow, wow. where you have these different facilities yes. that's just bringing in, bringing in people from everywhere. Wow. And their main purpose is just to come, make them come closer to Allah. And Muslims and non-Muslims are welcome to these trainings. Everyone, everyone, oh, everyone. So it could be a dawah opportunity as well. Definitely, multi-purpose and it's a community hub. And talking about community hub, let's take a look at the other aspects of it because I was astounded and astonished at how much they've been able to achieve in such a short amount of time with the donations in the most expensive city in the world, or at least one of them, Oslo. Show us the other places that what these people have done for, for, for years now, or at least for a long time, they've been looking at these things. So this was the, this is the, um, yes. uh, the gym, yeah? This was the gym, and yeah. if you go down here. Yeah. So this is actually the main wow. portion. Wow. I mean, my voice is <laughs> echoing from the amount of size you've got here. Wow, you've been able to buy this with the with the with the charity funds. Honestly, bro, I couldn't even imagine my that God. we would be able to achieve such huge results. Allah Allah Allah. Allah. And in this big this area here, if you could just show the camera, show yes. show the people everywhere. Ooh. And in this area is huge, massive. And this we will divide this into two separate gyms: one gym for sisters and one gym for brothers. Very inclusive. So working out, I mean, that's everywhere. something that many people do complain of. Many sisters, many women in the Muslim community say, we don't have spaces to do uh, exercise. And at the same time, men are complaining about our physical shape. This is double standard and one that you're solving here, isn't it, Fahad? Alhamdulillah. Yeah, it was Alhamdulillah. fantastic, actually. And, and really, it's spacious, it's expansive, and it's, it feels fresh, it feels good. Yeah. Is there any other places here that you can show us? Yeah, Bismillah, come with me, inshallah. This area over here that you're seeing right now, this will be the youth center for the sisters. Really? A specific area just for Just for girls, for, just for women? Just for girls. Wow. So they can hang out, spend time with each other and come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's and, amazing. And we'll have the same thing for the you brothers. You got more? Yeah, from, same thing for brothers over oh, here. Oh, you got another one, wow. So all of this area here, mashallah, tabarakallah, mm. will be a youth center, a yeah. hub for the Muslim brothers to just come, hang out, and you play some pool and wow. just build relationships. And when they hear the adhan, they're just going to rush to the prayer. Wow. Mashallah, the masjid is just right there. Yes. So that's what you meant by masjid and dawah center. And I remember some time ago, and I you know, came to the peace conference, yeah. and you expressed interest and said, you know, we want to expand into this area. And it was one man's dua, one man's expectation, one man's hope, and now it's become a community reality. And now the whole community has really helped us to get to this stage. And I have to say, the job has not been done yet, and we need your help to complete the job, isn't it, Fahad? That's true, 100%. And we, look, I mean, look, this is not cheap. This is a working progress. This is happening here in Oslo. You know, we're not in a cheap city. And I say to you guys, look, this is an opportunity we don't want to miss. That's the bottom line. That is the bottom line. 
This is an opportunity we don't want to miss. When we die, this will remain. When you and me are ashes and dust under the ground, this complex will remain, for, not for me and for you, for our children and for grandchildren, and for our great-grandchildren and for the great-grandchildren of the Muslim people in the West. This is a Sadaqah Jariyah. You cannot let this opportunity go. Click the link below and donate now.